Welcome back, everybody, to beautiful Memorial Stadium on a spectacular summer night in the gorgeous Napa Valley. Napa Valley 1839 taking on the Sonoma County Soul in the third annual Wine Country Derby. One all, our score. It was a PK by Galvin Lara with about uh, 39 minutes remaining or ticked out with about a minute and a half. We think in the uh, first half of play to tie it up one all. So both teams come out to the pitch. Napa Valley in their green kits, white shorts, the green socks. Meanwhile, the visiting Sonoma County Soul Orange jerseys, orange pants green, and orange socks look reminiscent of really the Dutch national team, if you're going to compare. Essentially the same lineups for both squads. No changes that I see. As we mentioned, 1839, two, two, and five overall. Looking for win number three of the 2019 campaign of the NPLS. And they would like to have some bragging rights in this wine country derby. Good defense, good clear up to midfield. Colin on the wing. Looking for Prieto. Crosses in the center to, to no avail. Trying to flag down the ball for it. Goes out of bounds. Cannot get to it. Was Colin. One thing got to mention defensively, Lua has been tremendous tonight for the big green machine. Of course, I call him the big green machine. That's not an official name, but we'll, uh, if you have a nickname for this team, feel free to send it in to Facebook. We see some happy faces here tonight at beautiful Memorial Stadium. Stadium seats nearly 7,000 people. Tonight, these are true green. I was going to say true blue soccer fans, but I'm going to call them true green fans. I don't know if that makes sense. Does it have to make sense? I don't know. Frankly, I don't care. But regardless, eighteen thirty-nine. good ball on the carpet, good ball. Good pass in space. Looking for a cross. Has something here. Shot on goal is no good. But a great attempt by Herrera, the midfielder, who got the ball on the uh, far post. Hit the post. Went out of bounds. Keeper. Ornelas. Herrera checks. Nope, this is actually Efren Torres. Out of bounds. Green ball. So if you look at the first half of play, you got to say a little bit of a momentum goes the way of the soul because of that PK. It, it was a handball. You have to call it. But um, doesn't mean you have to like it, though. Yeah. 
The referees today will be Daniel Cervantes in the center. Evan Gallegos, Gallego, Gallegos on the sideline and Eduardo Hernandez, the, the sideline referees. But Cervantes has let the lads play for the most part. It's been a clean match. Sol trying to push up here. Backline defense for Napa Valley. Shot on goal. The sun's starting to come down, so it's a little difficult to see, but it goes out of bounds. It was a shank. Tonight's attendance, you guessed it, 1,839 people again. And the crowd just being announced here at Napa Memorial Stadium, 2,000. 344 people. That may change. We may get a recount. Could go up to 4,000. Good one shot. Good shot on goal. Block by the, the great keeper Valdez. who got both hands on it. Here quickly. Here comes 1839 on the attack on the counter. The counter was stopped. Colin tries to steal the ball away. Does a good job. Takes it away. Here comes the counter. Here's an attempt. The shot goes out wide, far post, or near post, we'll call that. And out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for 1839. Corner. Fifty-fifty ball is controlled and back to the keeper, Valdez, who will uh, Valdez by the hometown of Oakland. I'm told about what is it? I think, as I recall, twelve of the eighteen players for. 1839 are from the Napa Valley. And of note, one of the big stars for who's not playing tonight, Diego Lopez, one of the stars of the NPSL, will be playing for Napa Valley when they go to the Founders Cup. Shot on goal. It's good, good block there by Valdez with a great stop with his right foot. A brilliant stop there and a very beautiful looking effort by the 1839 defense. He looked really like a hockey goalie in that defense getting his big, a big kick with his, with his boot on the ball. Number two, Grayson Stewart. John Pablo Cortez into the match. Also, it looks like we have a new player for, that's for the, the soul also coming into the match is number 19, there's another attempt Good clear by the defender. Does it, clears it out of bounds. Subbing out for Napa, Miles Montgomery. And coming in for him is Manny Maravilla. Ivan Collin coming out for 1839. He is being replaced. And 
by a new forward. And Colin did a pretty good job, by the way. I believe that's Montgomery that came out. Excuse me. We'll get that official in a second. Excuse me. It's Ivan Collin coming out. And into the match. For 18-39. We'll get him. He's way out there on the wing, the right wing. And uh, I don't see his number, and I apologize. Looks like more substitutions now. Andres Pareto, the man who scored a, a goal for 18-39, comes out. And he is being replaced. By Preto out, shot possibility on goal, chipped out of bounds by number 10, Francisco Mendoza, the forward. So, Mendoza is in. Prieto out. I don't know how. I, you know, I guess they're looking for fresh legs, obviously. Guy who scores a goal, you might want to keep him there again, but, you know, who am I? I'm just the lad calling a game. Good ball in space, good control. Back line clearing well. Crowd appreciating the good defensive play for 39. Quickly. A little bit of an opportunity here, trying to find space, trying to find some, some clarity was Colin. Out on the wing now. Nearly 15 minutes of soccer play here in the second half. One all, our match from Memorial Stadium. The stadium was, uh, the old one was, was uh, torn down in 2009. This one was completed on October 8, 2010. And apparently, this place not only allows soccer to be played, but it also is a venue where of course, Napa High School plays in Vintage High School. They play in their annual big game night. And uh, that game can get sold out, nearly 7,000 fans here in this venue. It is a good-looking venue, to say the least. Out on the wing, cross, shot way wide. Goes off the football upright, it looks like. Hits the post. No three points on that one, sorry. Efren Torres.
Looking for a ball in space. Soul. That one's going out of bounds. Somehow was able to control, save it. Colin. Back to the defender. Velasquez, the midfielder actually. Who's staying back. And as we mentioned, uh, you know, big green machine looking for win number three of the 2019 campaign. And they want that one tonight. They really should beat this team. There's no, there's no reason why they can't beat Sonoma County. Sonoma County down this year with only one win on the entire season. This is a team that is struggling in every sense. Good job by 1839. Nice ball in space out in the wing. Quickly, Colin. Colin trying to beat a defender. Good ball to a wide open. There's a shot, goes far post. To the right side. Out of bounds. It will be a kick for the mighty orange. The mighty orange lads from Sonoma County, where everyone knows their wine is second rate. <laughs> Jose Hernandez comes in. And Brian Marin. Or Hernandez comes out. I need my Number 15. Justin Ferreira. Justin Ferreira. Justin. Sonoma County on the counter. Good double team there. Nice effort to clear. Sonoma County. The orange, the orange, orange cream maybe. I'm not gonna call them orange crush because they're doing no crushing this season. Boy took a shot to the face there. A bit of a referee. It's gonna make sure on that blast to the face that the young man, number six, is okay. John Pablo Cortez de, Le de Leon. 39 ball, quick kick. Well, oh, no. Good marking by 1839, stripped away. Another good effort. Defense playing tough. And really, both teams right now playing good defensive soccer, no doubt about it. Almost 30 minutes of soccer played here in the second half. This game going by pretty, pretty, pretty well. One all our score from Memorial Stadium on a beautiful Napa night. Temperature dipped down a little bit now. The sun going down, 77 degrees. Slight breeze, seven miles per hour. Perfect football weather. Sonoma County will set up here. Macias looks like he's going to take the kick. 
1839 setting up the wall in defense. Three players to the right. Make that four. Sonoma setting up their piece. Shot on goal. Near post to no avail. 30 minutes of soccer played Earlier, here so in the first half. Valley, so, yeah, I mean, you know, trying to get a little energy, a little fire, a little desire. You know, lads on the field giving it all they can. The announcer trying to, you know, do a little shake and bake as we call this match. Hope you people are enjoying the game on the field. And, of course, the uh, stellar announcer by yours truly, Mike McDowd, broadcast extraordinaire. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to get uh, Adam Housley in the booth here to join me. Here comes the soul on the attack. Shot and a score for the soul. Back of the net. Sonoma County sadly puts one in. Two to one. It was a very well placed ball. By number 18, for the soul, Javier Marcias at 2.23.50. Javier Marcias makes it 2 1 now. Not what the lads. Wanted it all. You know, you figured out, you got to give a little bit of credit to this Seoul team. They get the PK just as the half ends, get a little momentum. Now, I got, with, with that said, they got a little momentum and they were able to put the ball in the back of the net here. But to be honest with you, that was a good strike. It, it found, found a good opportunity to score one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and uh, for the most part you know big green defense 1839 has played very well they've got nothing to hang their hats ha hang their heads down low they've been played aggressive the back line has done well they pushed up here's a shot from way out and pushed over the crossbar it'll be a corner kick 18-39. Nice strike from way out there. About 30 yards out. And the goalkeeper had to really, Ornelas had to really go up high to get that ball. Not much here. Napa Valley trying to counter. Shot. On goal, Ornelas with a stop. Pushes it up. Here comes the soul on the counter. Looking far left, offside though. Looking for a cross pass way across field to the winger. But he was offsides. Number six, Cortez de Leon. Out of bounds, goes off the foot of Francisco Mendoza, the forward for Napa. Trying to strip the ball away here in the back line defense. Napa, a bit of a, feels like they're playing with a bit of urgency here, and that's a, a good sign. They know they need to tie up this game. They do not want to lose this team whatsoever. And quite frankly, I think that, yes, that was a very good goal. The last one that was just scored by Macias. But I do th believe that Napa has been the more dominant squad tonight. And they're going to do their best. 
to try to put this ball in the back of the net. Good space, good one-touch pass, very well. Unfortunately, that one goes out of bounds, can't force balls. Pressure from behind by Matasquez. 18-39, has got to make a break here. Colin, the forwards have got to push up. There's another long ball attempt. Wait on the left wing. It's going to be tough to control. Out of bounds. Green throw in. I mean, 1839 did their job. One of the goals, the objectives they have, they had in the first half was to score a goal, to get up on the, on the board first. They did that. Now, let's see which type of character they have. Can they come back down two to one? To be honest with you, in the past, it has been a tough, it's been a tough going. It really has been. Let's see if this team can find the character that it needs to to prove tonight that they can be a, a team that can, not, can come back and tie and then score two goals. <clears throat> so, one-on-one -on -one action. And a potential foul there. The foul was against Keegan Engvin. And unfortunately, that's going to set up a <clears throat> shot in the penalty box area. Direct kick in the penalty area. So it's a, it's a PK shot, essentially. It is. And this could be double trouble if the soul can put it in the net. Here's the shot. And a stop! A brilliant stop by Valdez with a, a potential game keeper and winner. Wonderful job by the keeper to stop that shot. And this time... An injury stopping to play, but boy, oh boy, big number 18. Javier Marcias took that shot, and uh, Valdez guessed, went to his right, put a mitt on it, and shut it down. And a potential really debilitating goal is... being stopped so a brilliant wonderful save find some more adjectives to describe that but that was excellent and that's exactly exactly what they needed now they've got to find a way to counter attack and put the ball in the net crowd giving the injured player a hand that is number six. Juan Pablo Cortez de Leon. De Leon. And a little bit of stoppage time going to be added because of that injury. De Leon goes out. Jeff, Jeff. Peggy, Peggy. Could you, could you please, please report, report to, to the south, south stand? stand. Ismael Rios comes in for SC Soul FC. The spectacular Memorial Stadium.
Good defense by the Soul. It'll be a green throw in. And hopefully an opportunity to do something here. Time left in this match, but 1839 has got to find some sort of desperation in their psyche. They've got to turn on those rocket boosters and go full blast. Hold nothing back. They need to win number three of the 2019 campaign. Defense, Valdez up with it. Eighteen thirty nine would love to Valdez again with the easy ball clears. Napa trying to answer here. <laughs> trying to find a, a way desperately as this game will have stoppage time. Right now it says nearly uh, 35 minutes of soccer played here in the second half. So about 70 minutes of soccer total. Here comes, there's a potential here. Here comes Napa Valley on the attack. A shot on goal. Goal! Go, 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 Napa! How about that? Yes, the big green machine with a brilliant shot on goal, one-on-one. -on -one. That's exactly what the doctor ordered, and a brilliant job by 1839 as they had possession. They got the counter, and this game is tied up. exactly what this team desperately needed and the goal on the far wing there 
by number 10, Francisco Mendoza, the mid, the uh, forward who came in off the bench. And he is the man of the match right now. Two all, our score here at Memorial Stadium. Mendoza. With a brilliant strike. To tie up this match, two all. And Sonoma, or Napa Valley, feeling some life. Mm, they know they can beat this team. So Menem Swing goes to 18-30 now. Mm, defense playing back. Good block. Clear here. Good control there by, Son by Sonoma. Again, 18-39 on the, on the encounter, down the far wing, knocked out of bounds, it'll be a green ball, they're gonna say it's a, an orange ball. <clears throat> Mendoza beat the keeper with the, with the right-footed blast and did a great job putting it past Ornelas. Tied up here at Memorial Stadium. And that was just a really pretty looking goal. You know, it's been a while since Napa Valley has produced two goals. Now, this has been a team that lately, last time they scored two goals was against FC Davis in a losing effort, five to two. So this is good news. Long ball. Here's an opportunity here, shot on goal. Cleared out of bounds, nope, it's still in play. Keeper goes up for it, 18-39, they want a penalty there. They're gonna get one as... Penalty for Napa. Napa goes clear down to the floor, and it's number 11. That is Sebastian Herrero, the midfielder, and they're going to get a, a, a shot here on goal. And as the official referee talking to the defender who made the, the tough tackle, to say the least, that's number 15, Justin Ferreira. So we're going to have a PK effort here as this game is getting ready to wind down. So a big effort here. Here is Francisco Mendoza on the penalty kick. And here is the shot. It is no good. Oh, man, what a huge attempt. It goes wide left, far post. Oh man, I do not know what happened there. I don't know if there was a lack of concentration, but that was a that was the opportunity to win this game. I can't put the lad down. I'm not going to. But that was a wasted opportunity. And what a chance for 1839 to go ahead and put this match away. Huge disappointment for everybody. So now they have to score the old-fashioned way. Put the ball in the back of the net, maybe they get another PK opportunity, don't know. Good control. Excellent. Ball control, here's an opportunity here. Across, quickly. Here's a shot on goal, nope, good defense. Soul do a nice job clearing. Trying to counter, quickly, 18-39. Back line, getting into uh, Seoul territory. You can feel it, 1839, knowing they missed an opportunity. They look like they are playing with a team on a mission, a team that's desperate. They know they should win this game. They know that was a missed opportunity. They are 
playing their hearts out right now. Good defense by Lau. A push from behind goes Valasquez. Quickly out on the far left wing. Knocked out of bounds. Wanted a penalty as Torres was shoved. They don't call anything. 40 minutes of soccer played. Actually, counted 80 minutes. Or I should say 90 minutes. But we're going to have stoppage time. Cross. Good job by Valdez. He gets his hands on that ball. And we got ourselves a nail biter here at Memorial Stadium in the heart of Napa on a beautiful Saturday evening. And this is exactly, if you're a fan, you're seeing a one heck of a match being played here. Thirty-nine, countering out on the wing, good defense. Green ball. Of course, we mentioned that Ivan Hernandez is coaching tonight. He's the head coach right now, at least for tonight, because Rogelio Ochoa is out at his sister's wedding. And a trip there, a trip. Colin was brought down pretty hard. Well, a sole defender says, hey, man, I'm sorry. Good sportsmanship there. By John Pablo Cortez de Leon. 18-39, nice long ball here. Here's an opportunity. Goes right into the keeper's hands. And this match dwindling underway. We'll have stoppage time. With 98 minutes being, or I should say 88 minutes being played. Napa Valley. Wants to create something here. Offsides. It was um, number 18. Offsides for the soul, Macias. Out on the far right wing. Now they cross. Good at, did not have good control on that pass. Here's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here for the for Sonoma County. A shot on goal. Hits the bar. The far post. Or the, or the near, yes, it hits the far post. And it goes out of bounds. That was a, a good attempt by Sonoma County. And a good job by Miguel Galvin Lara. That was very dangerous. Almost 90 minutes of soccer being played. We're in stoppage time now. So this game is going to have to be won in stoppage time. Napa Valley. Can they put together something quick and magical and marvelous and mellifluous? The beautiful game being played with excellence tonight here in Napa Valley at Memorial Stadium. Napa, 1839, desperately trying to steal the ball away, creating a counterattack. Good control here. Good movement. The back line trying to push it up. Midfield is clear. Trying to get something rolling here. An opportunity. 
But the keeper, Ornelas, comes up with it. Kicked out of bounds. They're saying it's a soul ball. We are in stoppage time here at Memorial Stadium. Here comes Tommy Schutt. Very good. The lad's trying to do something here. This team, the defense for 38-39 on the back line, trying to prohibit the soul from scoring here. Doing everything to win the 50-50 ball. So, oh, nice heel pass. Out of bounds. It's a orange throw in. Good clear there. Nice ball. Really a, a nice move. Here comes Colin. He's got an opportunity to create something. Tries to take a shot. Deflected. Sonoma County or Napa Valley with a desperation shot attempt here. Trying to steal the ball away again. Quick, good clear. Not a very well kicked ball. Here comes Colin. I've been calling. Knocked down. And this one's going to be stopped. Referee checking his watch to see if we can potentially have a goal here. Can there be a little miracle in Napa tonight? 18-39 with a blast here. Little chip shot. Opportunity header. Goal! Napa! Go, 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 go. A brilliant header. On a wonderful way for Napa to win this game. The goal by number three, Kigan Angevin, the defender, with a brilliant job going jumping up in the air getting his head on the ball and going past the keeper we look forward to seeing everybody next week when we take host to Davis and Napa Valley with a win hello they're going to say this they have not called the match yet Alfredo Pedroza. Congratulations to the team tonight. Well done, boys. And uh, that was exciting finish. Again, thank you to our sponsors, Parker Puree, Tannery Bank Brewing, Napa Valley Petroleum, Mira Wines, Del Sur Mortgage, Branch So the goal by Angvin, 3 to 2. The Napa Valley 1839 boys with a win. Improving at the end of the match. Angvin with about as good a match as you're going to see for 1839 fans tonight. Keegan Angvin, the man of the match, scoring on the header. And the final, guess what? Napa Valley wins the third annual Wine Country Derby in dramatic Fashion, keep coming with the adjectives, drama, passion. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, energy. What a match, the final from Memorial Stadium as the Napa Valley 1839 FC wins a huge one for the first time over the Sonoma County School, Seoul by a score of three to two. Napa Valley improves to 3-2-5. Two, and five. Meanwhile, Sonoma County sold drop to 1-6. And, and I'll tell you what, the man of the match, we're going to give it to the guy who scored the game winner, Keegan Angvin, the man who travels down from Reno, was a man on a mission tonight, has 
Napa Valley comes away with a thrilling, dramatic win here at Memorial Stadium. And uh, you know what? Let's end the night on a W as the Napa Valley 1839 lads get ready to end the season next week on a high note as they will battle FC Davis. That uh, game time is 7 p.m. here at Memorial Stadium in Napa. So again, our final from Memorial Stadium in Napa. Napa Valley 1839-3 and the Sonoma County Soul 2. I'm Mike McDowell on behalf of our crew and everybody here at Napa Valley 1838. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. We'll see you next win. The Green Mean Machine. Get a big W tonight. Good night, everybody.